Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God, Chapter 196 Tsunade, Sorry. I don't have a brother. Okay, Sheng Shu, I didn't expect that over the years, your skin has grown so thick. You can compare with me. Rixian Chen patted Sheng Shu on the shoulder and said, That is, I have grown the fastest in these years. Sheng Shu said proudly, Because of his poverty, Sheng Shu often eats and drinks around and now he has given up his face. If you go out and find out who is the most annoying person in a hundred miles, it is definitely the Nawaki. I'm going to Konoa to play, and I'll meet an old classmate by the way. Would you like to join us? Rixianchen sat on the bench with one leg missing, looking at Nawaki and asked. Sheng Shu heard the words and was silent. After a long time, Sheng Shu shook his head and said, forget it, I still won't go. What was the situation back then? Rixianchen asked curiously. The past is gone and I don't want to mention it. Sheng Shu closed his eyes and looked a little painful. He had watched with his own eyes that the only remaining clan of their Kainzu clan died under the butcher knife of the Anbu Ninja. If you don't want to talk, forget it. Rixianchen didn't ask. He was never the one who broke the casserole and asked to the end. What happened to my old sister? Why didn't I come with you? Sheng Shu forced those memories into his heart and changed the subject. You wait, Rixianchen said, and then entered the system space, and after a while, he brought Tsunade out, Mikoto, Kashina and the others followed. Sister, Mikoto, Duke Sinai, and Xionan, how are you? Do you know who these two little girls are? Sheng Shu greeted excitedly. Who are you, Nawaki? Tsunade frowned and looked at the big man with a stubborn back. Pfft ha ha ha. Rixianchen couldn't help it anymore, and burst out laughing. Sheng Shu looked depressed. His old sister, even his younger brother, didn't know. Didn't you say see the Nawaki? Who is this gorilla? Duke Sinai stretched out his hand and poked Rixianchen's arm and asked, hearing Kashina describe him as a gorilla. The Nawaki turned grey and was shocked. This is not what he wants to look like, and looks are out of control. I'm Sheng Shu. You don't even know me anymore. Sheng Shu squatted on the ground with a grudge and drew circles. What? Are you Nawaki? Tsunade, Mikoto, Kashina, and Xianan all looked at Nawaki in shock. This is Tsunade's sister's younger brother? Is it biological? Shouldn't it be adopted? Sarah said rudely. Yes, it's not a style of painting at all. If you say that this is the uncle of sister Tsunade, I also believe it. Teruyumi nodded and said, Adopt a child. Uncle. The four words suddenly crushed the Nawaki, which was so hurtful that he completely ignored his feelings. Are you really a Nawaki? After a long time, Tsunade suppressed the shock in his heart and asked uncertainly, Could it be a mutation? Kashina complained, obviously unacceptable. In the past, Nawaki was quite handsome, not too tall, not even comparable to some girls, but now he has transformed into a strong man in his thirties, not to mention Kashina and the others, even Tsunade can't accept it. I'm really Sheng Shu, what's wrong with me like this, this is a real man, you look at Rixianchen, white and pure, just a little white face, Sheng Shu said dissatisfied, I'll go to your little white face, Rixianchen kicked this guy out with one kick, he was obviously disabled, and still a man, Xiaonan stretched out his hand and pulled Tsunade's clothes, and asked gently, Sister Tsunade, is Sheng Shu your own brother? In the face of Xionan's skeptical tone, if it was before, Tsunade would definitely say yes without hesitation. But now looking at the appearance of Nawaki, she also began to doubt. Probably. Probably my own brother. Tsunade said in an uncertain tone. Sister, I'm really your brother. Looking at the Nawaki in front of him who seemed to be in his thirties, but called her sister, Tsunade shook his head and said, I'm sorry for the Nawaki, but I actually don't have a younger brother. When Sheng Shu heard the words. She looked at Rixiangchen with tears in her eyes. Being looked at by Sheng Shu's eyes, it was a bit chilly. Resisting the urge to give him a kick, Rixiangchen said lightly, If I had a younger brother like you, I wouldn't recognize you. After laughing for a while, Tsunade accepted this anxious younger brother, but the girls still inevitably complained about the Nawaki. Hearing the heart-piercing words of the girls, there were tears in Sheng Shu's eyes. Fortunately, it didn't take long for Tsunade and the others to leave without returning to the system space. They wanted to play in the ninja world. In fact, it was Tsunade's gambling addiction. He wanted to find a casino to gamble a few times, but Rixianchen did not object. With the strength of the girls, there was no need for Rixianchen to worry about their safety. And they also have Rixianchen's transcribed seal, Gautanyuan, so that Rixianchen is more at ease. After Tsunade and the others left, Haixianchen patted Ruzki on the shoulder, then shook his head. What do you mean, are you comforting me? Rixianchen shook his head without hesitation and said, No. I'm actually admiring your courage. It's not easy to live like this. Saying that, Rixianchen still showed admiration. Sheng Shu wants to vomit blood. Although he is not handsome now, he is not ugly either. All right. It's a little bit ugly, but it's not to the point where I can't live. Rixianchen is too exaggerated. Okay, I won't talk to you anymore. Sitting on the lame stool, Rixianchen took out a bottle of medicine and put it on the table. Give you a good thing. After using it, it will be good for you. Maybe it can even awaken Mu Dun. Really or not, 
You're not lying to me, are you? Sheng Shu looked suspicious. When have I lied to you? Since you don't want it, then take it. Rick Xianchen made a gesture to take it back. Seeing this, Sheng Shu immediately took the potion in his hand. Regardless of whether Rick Xianchen lied to him or not, Rick Xianchen would not harm him anyway, so he should take it in his hand first. How does this work? It's over after drinking. Rick Xianchen tapped the table lightly. He swears that he really just tapped the table lightly, and then the table fell apart. The things you have here are so fragile. Let's go. Rick Xianchen shook his head and left. Wait, I'll go to Konoa with you. Nawaki shouted loudly. Rick Xianchen turned around, looked at Nawaki and said, Didn't you say you can't go? Why are you going now? I left Konoa when I was ten years old, just after the Second Ninja War, and now it's been more than eight years. It's time to go back and see my old classmates. I don't know if they saw me as a dead person. People, will you be surprised? Sheng Shu was quite emotional. When Sheng Shu sighed, Rick Xianchen's figure had already gone far, and Sheng Shu, who had recovered, hurriedly chased after him. Why don't you wait for me? Nawaki complained. I see you sighing there, so I won't bother you. You don't know the good heart. You. Okay, okay, stop talking nonsense, and hurry. Rick Xianchen interrupted what Nawaki was about to say. The Nawaki followed very depressedly. Chapter 197 Return to Konoa. Boss, open two rooms, the most luxurious. Rick Xianchen said to the boss when he came to a hotel. Okay. The owner of the hotel responded quickly. Rick Xianchen turned his head to the Nawaki and said, hurry up and pay. Why do you want me to pay? You are so rich yet you come to bully me, a poor man. Standing in a hotel, Sheng Shu reluctantly paid. When your sister and the others left, they took all the money, and I don't have a penny now. Rick Xianchen said with spread out his hands. Sheng Shu glanced at Rick Xianchen sympathetically when he heard the words. The money was in the hands of his old sister. Will there be any left? How much is it to take? Sheng Shu asked curiously. If Rick Xianchen can give him 10 million tals, he must be very rich. Not much, more than 100 billion. Rick Xianchen said lightly as if he was talking about 1,000 tals. Wow tilde. More than 100 billion, how many bowls of ramen can you eat? Sheng Shu said in shock. Rick Xianchen glanced at him with contempt. It's really worthless. You have 100 billion and you still eat ramen. Why do you want to add a dish? The owner of the hotel despised Rick Xianchen and the two of them. The two of them were young, but there was loud. But these two were guests after all, so he didn't like to slap them in the face. Stayed here for one night and continued on our way the next day. A few days later, Rick Xianchen and Sheng Shu came to Konoa's gate. Sheng Shu looked at Konoa, who was no different from before, with emotion on his face. Don't sigh, go in. Hai Xianchen pulled the Nawaki and stepped into Konoa village, but the ninja guarding the gate didn't seem to see the two of them at all. You came in so easily, aren't you Cheng Konoa's rebel? Why didn't they stop you? Don't you know that there is a technique called illusion in this world? So you used illusion. Nawaki scratched his head. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us to enter Konoa with such a swagger? Nawaki looked tangled. It's okay. Rick Xianchen waved his hand indifferently. He was not afraid of being discovered. Even if the three generations of Hokage discovered that he was in Konoa, he couldn't do anything to him. Rick Xianchen and Sheng Shu were strutting down the street. Naturally, the hidden Anbu found them, and hurried to report to Hokage. Three generations of Hokage Sama, the betrayal Rick Xianchen appeared in Konoa, and there was an unidentified person by his side. I don't know how to deal with it. The pipe in the mouth of the three generations of Hokage fell to the ground and his expression was stunned. As long as he doesn't do anything harmful to Konoa, leave him alone for the time being, and don't let anyone monitor him. After being stunned for a long time, the third Hokage said, Yes, and Buninja nodded and left Naruto's office. Alas, three generations of Hokage sighed, with a sad face on his face. He didn't know whether Rixi Anchen appeared in the village, whether it was good or bad. It can only be like this for the time being. If he does something that endangers the village, even if he is desperate, I will stop him. When he said this, the three generations of Hokage looked very determined. Rick Xianchen didn't know what the three generations of Hokage were thinking, and he had no interest in knowing that he was now squatting on the street of Konoa, holding a few strings of and his hand to see the beauty. I have to say that there are many beauties in Konoa, much more than other places. If I let my sister know that you are so wretched, she will definitely kill you and beat you into patties, said Sheng Shu, who was squatting beside Rick Xianchen. Everyone has a love for beauty. Is it illegal for me to see beautiful women? Your eyes are straighter than mine. So what qualifications do you have to say about me? Rick Xianchen glanced at the Nawaki with contempt, and then continued to look at the beauties on the street landscape. Just like men like to look at beautiful women, beautiful women also like to look at handsome men. Many girls, milfs, and Lila stopped on the street and looked at Rick Xianchen secretly. There were even a few bold ones who ran over to chat with Rick Xianchen. The Nawaki next to Rick Xianchen was completely reduced to a background board setting off the green leaves of flowers. The women now have no taste, Sheng Shu said dissatisfiedly. No, I think their taste is normal. Rick Xianchen immediately retorted, if you can look at the Nawaki, that's called abnormal taste. Red, red, 
Look, there's a very handsome man there. The uncle next to him. It's a bit unpleasant. Mitrai Redbin took Yui Hong's hand and pointed in the direction of Haik Xiangjin. I I saw it. Yuiko said with red cheeks. Wow Hong, your face is so red. Could it be that you like someone else? Hong joked. Bullshit, hurry back. If my father knew that I had sneaked out, he would definitely reprimand me severely. Hong Yui groaned with a red face, and then took Mitsurai Redbin's and hurriedly left. Haik Xiangjin didn't see the two young girls, Ku Yui and Mitsurai Redbin. After all, there were so many people on the street. It was impossible for Haik Xiangchen to look at each of them. Even if they did see them, they might not be able to recognize them. Let's go quickly. Others treat us as perverts. Sheng Shu dragged Rick Xiangchen away, looking at the pointing of the people around. Sheng Shu's face still did not stand the test. That's treating you as a pervert. I'm so handsome, how can anyone treat me as a pervert? Rick Xiangchen said dissatisfiedly. Look at the eyes of the men around you, and they all want to kill you. Sheng Shu pointed at the men with fierce eyes. The faces of these people are really ugly. Rick Xiangchen shook his head and said. Sheng Shu was speechless. You have seduced other people's wives and girlfriends. Do you still expect people to smile at you? It's good not to beat you. Go, go to the ninja school and meet Wei no sensei. Nawaki pulled Rick Xiangchen to the ninja school. When I arrived at the ninja school, I found that the ninja school was closed, and there was no one at all. Chen. Do you know where Wei no sensei lives? You ask me, who should I ask? Find someone else to ask. Rick Xiangchen spread his hands. Asked a teacher at a school. They also found out about Wei no sensei's home, and went straight to his home. When I came to Wei no sensei's house, I found out 0.6 locked the door, and there was no one at home. Aren't you at home? Where did Wei no sensei go? Sheng Shu said to himself. Come back another day. Let's find a place to stay now. Rick Xiangchen took the Nawaki and left, then found a small hotel and stayed there. I didn't expect Lu Ju, Minato and the others to go on a mission. It's really a coincidence. Nawaki complained. After waiting for Rick Xiangchen's reply for a long time, Nawaki looked in the direction of Rick Xiangchen and found out Rick Xiangchen had disappeared. Where did you go? Sheng Shu scratched his head, waited for a while and didn't see Rick Xiangchen come back and then Sheng Shu went back to his own room. Of course Rick Xiangchen entered the system space, and he was chatting with Xu this time. Chatting with a beautiful girl Xu is better than chatting with a stubborn guy like Sheng Shu. Chapter 198 Yael Raymond Shop Xu, your face is so white and tender. Let me touch it. Rick Xiangchen unceremoniously pinched it. Xu blushed and stared at Rick Xiangchen angrily, but she did not stop Rick Xiangchen's wolf claws. On the contrary, she enjoyed Rick Xiangchen's kneading. Just when Rick Xiangchen bullied Xu and was happy, a flash of light flashed and Tsunade and the others returned to the system space. It's not surprising that they can enter the system space. Before, Rick Xiangchen gave them a free access to the system space. What's wrong? Looking at Tsunade, you seem a little unhappy. Rick Xiangchen looked at Tsunade suspiciously. Can you be happy after losing billions? Kashina said gloatingly. Several billions? Rick Xiangchen couldn't help but open his mouth after hearing it. In just a few days, he had already lost billions. It's the first time I've seen a person with such bad luck in gambling who still gambles so much. Teruyumim complained. Lulan's annual financial income is not as much as Sister Tsunade's losses these days. Sarah's words stabbed a knife in Tsunade's heart again. Wow, you prodigal woman, you haven't gambled for a few years, but I didn't expect to gamble so much. Rick Xiangchen felt his heart throb. Tsunade blushed and retorted, What is a prodigal? I can win back all the losses tomorrow, and then I will show you the real gambling skills of my Tsunade. Ha ha tilde including the gentle Mikoto and the well-behaved Xionan, all of them ha ha. If Tsunade really won back, it would be a ghost. Actually, rather than winning, I hope you lose every day. Rick Xiangchen said in a low voice. What would happen if Tsunade won? Rick Xiangchen knew very well. HMPH. 30 years of Hedong. 30 years of Hexi. You wait and see, I will definitely impress you. Tsunade, who was looked down upon by everyone, suddenly dropped such a sentence. Rick Xiangchen was shocked by the classic lines that Tsunade said. Could it be that Tsunade is going to counterattack from now on and become a generation of gambling kings? It's really terrifying. I won't accompany you to lose money tomorrow, Kashina said. As soon as Kashina finished speaking, except for Trumim, who was somewhat interested, everyone else expressed that they did not want to go to gamble with Tsunade. Originally, there was no distinction between day and night in the system space, but because of the setting of Rick Xiangchen, the system space was also synchronized with the outside. It was night now, Mikoto and Xia went to prepare dinner, Xi Alnan ran to develop frozen fruits, Rick Xianchen and the others sat and chatted. Early the next morning, Tsunade took Trumim out of the system space and continued her journey of losing money. Mikoto likes to be quiet, so she stays in the system space, Xi Onan is also developing frozen fruits in the system space, and Sarah is working hard. Once a queen, Sarah was very strong. When she found out that the youngest Trumim was much stronger than her, Sarah's cultivation became more diligent. Kashina chose to follow Haik Xiangchen. Now Tsunade took Trumim to gamble, 
and Makoto and the others stayed in the system space, then she could live with Haik Xianchen in the two-person world. Thinking about Gushina was excited. Rick Xianchen and Gushina left the system space and returned to Konoa's hotel room when a knock on the door rang. Chen, are you inside? Nawaki's voice sounded. Not here, Kashina said loudly, angrily. After finally getting along with Rick Xianchen alone, this guy Ropeshu came here without A's, and Kashina was very upset. Why are there still women? Could it be that you can't stand your loneliness? Don't worry, I won't tell my sister. Rick Xianchen opened the door expressionlessly, and then kicked him downstairs. Dogs bark, bump. The door was slammed shut by Sun Xianchen. Nawaki covered the big bag that hit his head with a depressed look on his face. Chen you wait. I must tell my sister about this, you are finished. Sheng Shu shouted loudly, causing dissatisfaction among the other guests of the hotel. Feeling the murderous gazes, Sheng Shu smiled shyly, and then prepared to go upstairs, but was stopped by the owner of the inn. I said brother, you will lose money for the thing you crashed. A boss who looked to be in his forties said, pulling the Nawaki's arm. Who is your brother? I'm only eighteen years old. Sheng Shu looked at the boss depressedly. He he guessed, you really liked a joke but no matter how old you are, you must pay for it. Sheng Shu compensated for a sum of money depressed, and then came to Rick Xianchen's door again and knocked hard. Crunch. The door of the room opened again, and Rick Xianchen looked at him with dead fish eyes. What's the matter with you? I, I. At this time, Sheng Shu suddenly forgot the purpose of coming to Rick Xianchen. Bump. The door slammed shut. Knock again and I'll break your third leg. The faint threatening words floated out from the inside, and Nawaki felt a tightness in his lower body, so he quickly reached out to cover it and did not dare to continue knocking on the door. It wasn't until lunchtime when Rixi Angjin and Jashina walked out together, which surprised Sheng Shu. Jashina, didn't you go to gamble with my old sister? Why did you appear here? Sheng Shu asked in surprise. Space Ninjutsu, learn about it. Rixi Angjin said lightly. Can't I be here? What are you doing by knocking on the door in the morning? It's hard to get along with Chen alone, but this guy actually came out to disrupt the situation. If it wasn't for Sister Tsunade's face, I'd have to label you as a pig head. Duke Sinai waved his fist viciously at Nawaki, causing 587 Nawaki to shrink his neck in fright. When they were at the ninja school, there were not many in their class who were not afraid of Kashina. Her violence was comparable to that of his old sister, and Nawaki was naturally afraid of Kashina. Looking at the Nawaki with its neck shrunk, Kashina nodded smugly. Well, what do you want to eat? I'll treat you. Nawaki patted his chest and said in a big way, We've already eaten it. You can eat it yourself. We're going shopping. Why didn't you tell me earlier? So I was waiting for you hungry. Sheng Shu looked at Rick Xianchen with resentful eyes. Rick Xianchen got goosebumps from Sheng Shu's gaze, and quickly pulled Gushina away. Sheng Shu's resentful gaze was a bit lethal. Coming to the street of Konoa, Gushina said, I came to the street of Konoa again, and there is not much change from before. What can be changed? There is a ramen shop over there. Let's go and see. Rick Xianchen pointed to a ramen not far away. This ramen is the famous Ichiro ramen shop. What's so good about the ramen shop? We just ate, and we can't eat anything now. Kashina shook his head. Let's go. I can eat your share for you. Haik Xianchen pulled Kashina and entered the Yael ramen shop. Dukes and I looked at Rick Xianchen speechlessly. Can I still eat it instead? I don't go to school. Don't lie to me. Chapter 199 Obito, Lin, Kakashi. After entering, Rick Xianchen found that there were quite a lot of people inside. It seems that Yael Raymond is very popular. Boss, here are two bowls of Tunkatsu Raymond. Hai Xianchen took Kashina to find a seat and called out loudly. Okay, the hand responded. I took a look at this so-called Otsatsuki Akal, and then I stopped paying attention. Any Otsatsuki Akal is bullshit, and he is obviously an ordinary person. The taste is quite fragrant. I don't know if it tastes good or not. Kashina took a deep breath and said, Looking at this business, I know that the taste should be good. But if you compare it with Mikoto's cooking, it will be incomparable. Rick Xianchen said softly. This uncle, this aunt, can you make a table? There is no place. A silly looking guy wearing sunshades ran over and said. Jux and I heard the word aunt. Her hair fluttered with anger. She was only 18 years old this year, and she was actually called aunt. Uncle can endure, aunt can't bear it. Rick Xianchen turned to look at this unlucky child, and at first glance, it was really unlucky child, Yukai Huobito. Can he not be unlucky? I'm sorry for the two brothers and sisters. Abito can't speak. I offended you. I hope you can forgive him. Nohara Lin quickly apologized. Seeing Nohara Lin, a cute little girl apologizing, Kashina didn't want to get angry, but she still glanced at Abito coldly, causing Abito to sweat coldly. For the sake of this little girl's face, I will let you go. If there is another time, I will punch you in the head. Duke Sinai said coldly. I, I didn't say anything wrong. Why are you apologizing to them? Lin, what's so great? Oita said stubbornly. In fact, Abito is very scared now, but he can't lose face when he loses anything, especially in front of girls he likes. Abito, don't say a few words. No, Haralin was a little annoyed. I'm really sorry, 
I'll leave with Ibuto. Nohara in bowed and apologized to Hike Xianjin and Kashina. Forget it, I don't need to care about you, this little brat, Kashina said with a breath. Thank you, big sister, Ibuto. Please apologize quickly. Nohara in looked at Ibuto seriously, and a bit too reluctantly apologized. Humphrey, Hatake Kakashi, who had been silent for a while, snorted coldly, then pulled up his chair and sat down, wearing a mask and looking at everyone with dead fish eyes. Little devil. You look like you need to fight. Jixin Nei I said very upset. The current Hatek Karkashi is indeed very underwhelming, cold and arrogant, with a look of contempt. Ha Hatek Karkashi sneered. No Haralin covered her head, she felt a little headache. Are all brats so arrogant now? Jixin I wanted to hit someone angrily, but a brat who just entered the ninja school actually dared to be so arrogant. Wasn't he afraid of being knocked on the back? In particular, she dared to be arrogant in front of her Kashina and she didn't inquire at the school. She was a famous school bully at the ninja school back then. Karkashi, don't be so rude. No Haruin whispered. However, Hatek Karkashi closed his eyes directly with a cold look. Damn, I must teach him a good lesson. Kashina stood up angrily, her red hair flying. Seeing this, Rixianchen stretched out his hand to hold her, and persuaded, Okay, Dukes and I, there is no need to be angry with a kid, so many people around are watching. Bullying a kid is too cheap. Under Rixianchen's persuasion, Kashina calmed down and sat down. The noodles came up soon, and Rick Xianchen tasted it and found that Yael Raymond was not bad, but by comparison, the dishes made by Mikoto were delicious. After Kashina took a sip, she pushed it to Hike Xianchen. She was actually very full, and taking a sip was just to taste the taste. If it tastes good, Kashina doesn't mind eating a little longer, but the taste can only be said to be okay, so Kashina naturally won't reluctantly eat it. Don't eat some noodles, waste of space, Abuto whispered. If you were an ordinary person, you might not hear what Abuto said, but is Kashina an ordinary person? She is a super powerhouse at the super shadow level. If Abuto is the one, she won't hear it. I think you need to clean up this little brat. Jixin Nei I took chopsticks and hit Abuto's head unceremoniously. Abuto's hands held his head in his hands, and the tears were left, and the pain was shedding tears. Karkashi opened his eyes and glanced at Abuto his eyes full of mockery. No Haralin was very embarrassed. Is she apologizing to the red-haired big sister now, or comforting Abito? Ha! Huh. This is the end of the bear child. Kashina hummed softly, looking at Abito who was holding his head and crying. Kashina's mood improved a lot. Die yourself. Rixianchen shook his head, and then concentrated on eating noodles, but when he was eating noodles, he felt a look and was peeking at him. Rixianchen looked up and saw that it was Rin Nohara, smiled at her, and continued to fight Raymond. No Haralin blushed speaking at others being discovered, and her face was very embarrassed, but this big brother is really good looking and attractive. No Harilin also peeked uncontrollably, but he didn't expect that the peak would be discovered. Immediately afterwards, No Harilin couldn't help but secretly glanced at Rick Xianchen. After all, everyone has a love for beauty. Although No Harilin was very careful, Rick Xianchen could still feel her gaze, and Rick Xianchen was not surprised. It wasn't just No Harilin who peeked at him, several female diners in the Raymond shop were also peeking at him. Dot. Not only Hike Xianchen felt it, but Kashina also noticed it. Kashina who noticed it immediately became unhappy, and the good impression of no Haruin in her heart disappeared. Hey what are you peeking at my husband? Kashina hugged Hike Xianchen's arm and looked at no Haruin hostilely. In Jixinai's heart, Rick Xianchen is a low Ken, so when facing little girls, Jixinai is extra vigilant. Even a few good-looking women peeking at Rick Xianchen next to him, can't let Jixinai sinner was so wary. In Kashina's eyes. Nohara Rin's threatening power is much greater than that of the women next to her. Nohara Rin's face was blushing, and she could bleed. Kashina's words made her very embarrassed, and there was a mist in her eyes. Rixianchen raised his head and pulled Rijuxinai, and said softly, There's no need to eat a little girl's vinegar. That won't make you sour. You think I think so? You perverted Loikan. Juxinai rolled his eyes at him, then reached out and pinched him angrily. Rixianchen was speechless. When did he say that he was a Lilai control? He was clearly in full control, but not only in control of Lilai. If Kashina knew what Rick Xianchen was thinking, she would definitely deal with him ruthlessly. Chapter 200 Nawaki, suspected by Kashina as homosexual. Because of Kashina's words, the scene was awkward for a while. No Haruin lowered her head and didn't speak, and Abito looked at Rick Xianchen with rather unhappy eyes. Kakashi is still the same old man who is very tricky. Rick Xianchen didn't feel anything at all, ignoring everyone's eyes and eating noodles on his own. Soon Abito, No Haruin, and Kakashi ordered Raymon which relieved the awkward atmosphere a little. After eating, Rixianchen was suddenly embarrassed when he took out his pocket, and Tsunade took all the money away, and he didn't have a cent on him. Jashina, did you bring any money? Rixianchen looked at Dukes and I. Dukes and I shook her head, looked at Rixianchen and asked, Don't you bring any money? Don't you know that I don't have any money anymore? Rixianchen asked rhetorically. It was only then that Kashina remembered that Tsunade had taken all the money from Haixianchen, 
and she was still enthusiastically participating at that time. Well, if the two brothers and sisters didn't bring money, I'll pay for you, and I'll take it as an apology. No Harun said softly. Lin, why are you helping them pay? Abato said dissatisfiedly, and at the same time looked at Rick Siangchen with hostile eyes, looking at Rick Siangchen's little white face. He was not happy, in his 683 eyes, everyone was more handsome than him. The people are all white faces. Facing Abato's hostile eyes, Haik Siangchen was not annoyed but sighed that Hokage's child was precocious, and now Abito is over six years old. Actually, now I have a good impression of no Haruin. Originally, Rixianchen wanted to use Yin and Yang to escape and create some money out of thin air. After all, Rixianchen still wouldn't do such a tasteless thing as eating noodles and not giving money. But since no Haruin wanted to pay for her, let her pay, Rixianchen was not willing to use Yin Yang Dun to make money, just like he didn't like to use Yin Yang Dun to make food. However, Rixianchen would not let the little girl know Harilin pay for nothing. If that's the case, that's fine. But I won't take advantage of you. I'll give you this kunai to offset the money for Raymond. Rixianchen took out an exquisite kunai. The silver white kunai, with some golden patterns engraved on it, looks very luxurious, and this kunai is not something that is too fancy. This was purchased by Rixianchen in the system when he was a child. It is much sharper than ordinary kunai and can be easily cut off from ordinary kunai, but Rixianchen has never used it much. Ah! This is too precious. I can't take it. No Harilin said quickly. Even the worst kanai is worth more than two bowls of ramen. Not to mention this kanai is extraordinary at first glance. Not to mention two bowls of ramen. Even hundreds of bowls of ramen may not be able to get this kanai. However, Haik Sianchen had already pulled Kashina to leave the Yael ramen shop, and when No Harilin got up and chased out, Haik Sianchen was no longer in sight. No Harilin silently held the delicate kanai in her hand intending to return it when she saw her again. Isn't it just a more beautiful kanai? Maybe it's just a decoration, and I'll get you a better looking one someday. Seeing that no Harun had been holding the kanai, as if treating it as a treasure, Abito said in a rather unhappy manner. No Harun glared at him lightly, then ignored him. Abito looked dazed, not knowing how to make Lin angry. Kakashi, why don't you eat? Are you not hungry? Isn't this a waste? I'll solve it for you. Abito reached out and took the ramen in front of Kakashi. Kakashi frowned, then gave Abito a cold look got up and left the Akile Raymond shop. Inexplicable. Abito shook his head. I'm done eating. Abito eat slowly. I'll go first. No Harilin said softly, then paid the money and left. Hey Tilda. I agreed that today is my treat. Abito shouted loudly, but no Harilin had already left, which made Abito feel quite depressed. It's all to blame for that little white face. The depressed Abito blamed everything on Rixi Anjan's head. Originally, the person Abito hated the most was Karkashi. And now there is another Rick Siangchen. The key is that he still doesn't know what Rick Siangchen is called. When Haik Siangchen and Kashina returned to the hotel, Nozu immediately came over. Why are you everywhere? It's better to stay away from Chen, or I'll beat you carefully. Duke Sinai threatened viciously. Sheng Shi looked at Duke Sinai dejectedly, wondering how he could provoke this eldest sister. Humphrey, don't think that I don't know that you are a pervert and like men. You better stay away from Chen. Duke Sinai said with a cold snort. The Nawaki wanted to vomit blood. He didn't expect Kashina to suspect that he was gay. Even Rick Siangchen looked at Kashina with shame. You've been looking for Chen all day. It's like this now, and it was like this when you were in school. What are you not gay? Rick Siangchen also looked at Nawaki suspiciously, and at the same time he couldn't help but take a few steps back and distanced himself from Nawaki. This guy doesn't really have any quirks, right? It's not impossible to think. I have something to do. Nawaki defended himself. Then what's the matter with you? Let's hear it. Duke Sinai still looked at Nawaki with suspicious eyes. I came to Konoa. I didn't want to see my old friends and teachers. Now Shikahisa and Minato are on their missions, only to see Wano Sensei. Yesterday Wano Sensei wasn't at home. Today I want to do it again. I have to go. That's why I came to call Chen. The Nawaki explained depressedly. That's it. But you're still suspicious. Kashina still didn't let go of her doubts. Nawaki looked at the ceiling speechlessly. How could he explain it so that he could explain it clearly? At this time, Sheng Shi looked at Rick Siangchen with expectant eyes in his eyes, hoping that he could explain it to him. Actually, I also feel that you are very abnormal. Rick Siangchen looked at Sheng Shi with a hint of vigilance. Sheng Shi vomited three liters of blood, and he dared to swear to God that he was definitely not gay. After that, Sheng Shi wasted a lot of strength to let Rick Siangchen and Duke Sinai temporarily let go of their doubts, but they were still wary of Sheng Shi in their hearts. Kashina swears that if Nawaki is really in plots against Chen, then she will never care about Tsunade, and she will definitely beat Nawaki with cerebral palsy. And Rick Siangchen also decided to keep some distance from Nawaki. Sheng Shi walked in front with an unhappy expression, while Haik Siangchen and Kashina followed behind. When I came to the door of Wei no Sensei's house, I found that it was not locked this time, and Nawaki stepped forward and knocked on the door. Soon there was a sound of footsteps, Wei no Shi reopened the door, looked at the slightly familiar big man in front of him 
and asked hesitantly, Who are you? Sheng Shi felt that life was a little dark, and the teacher who had taught him for five years could not recognize him. Teacher, I'm Nawaki. You are Sheng Shu's uncle. No wonder I look familiar, alas. Poor Sheng Shu, this child, is already. Alas, Rixianchen and Duke Sinai in the back were laughing so hard that they couldn't straighten their waists. It was so funny, especially seeing the dying expression on Sheng Shu's face. Because of the laughter of Hayuga Tatsu and Kashina, Wei no Shiri's eyes went over Nawaki and looked at Haixianchen and Kashina who were blocked by Roshu's large body. Chen, Kashina, Wei no Shiri's voice was a little surprised. Seeing that the Wei no tree easily recognized Rixianchen and Kashina, Roshu felt even more depressed, and was about to die of depression. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.